Toby, say hello. Hello, everybody. What's up, ladies and gents? Traxxas Maxter here. Toby, please. Oh, Toby. <laughs> and I'm here to show you how to paint an RC body. And this is going to be for Rusty. And this is the Pro Line Desert Rat. And it's a nice body, it looks like. And we're going to go ahead and get to painting it. So. Let's get to it. I got my hobby knife here. No paint yet because I don't know what color I'm going to be doing, but we can at least start to cut it out, right? Right, Zoe? No, don't like that. That'll cut you. So I've got the body opened up, and this is what it comes with. It comes with one Lexan plastic body. Some stickers for when you're done painting. Desert Rat. Focus. Oh, good job. And it comes with window masking. And it comes with the attachment screws for a wing. But it doesn't come with a wing, so I guess I won't be putting one on. This adorable dog is not included. I'm sorry. Wait, what are you eating? Better not be eating parts. Better not be eating parts. So in order to paint this, we're going to need to cut it out. And this is where your hobby knife comes in handy. So you're going to see a long... I don't know if you can see, but along here, it shows you where to cut. What you need to do is you need to cut along all these lines, in like a real deep, it's a real deep score. So you're going to drop your knife in, and it's going to push nice and hard. And Sorry, my video cut out there, but you're going to push hard, and you're going to score it like this. A nice deep score, and then when you push it, you can break it, and then it just pulls apart just like that and you're gonna do that along the entire body so I'm gonna do that to this and I'll come back when it's nice and cut out should be looking good haha <laughs> found the wing guys it's on the back honestly don't want it though so you guys have it the body is trimmed looks okay and if you've never used a hobby knife before I suggest you do a little bit of practice because it is a bit tricky to figure out. But I think the body is going to look good on there once I get it painted up and ready to go. And it should be nice for racing. So now we just got to drill holes. They're already pre marked by Proline. Thank you very much for that. And then it's a matter of masking it, painting it, and then racing it. Alright, guys. So I just spent a good two hours masking. And this is what I've got basically so far. So we got the top of the fins, then through here with an angled tail, going back and ending in a stripe. Then we have these sides and the front fenders, and then we have a stripe that's going to be a mystery color, and the windows will be a separate color as well. And they're all going to be secret colors. I'm not going to show you. You'll get to see one color when I start painting because I'm going to show you how you do your coats. So this clear color right now, what you get to know is that it's going to be yellow. And that's all you get to know. And then the body's going to turn out a surprise. But it should look pretty good. So I just have a little bit of masking to finish up right here. But I ran out so I'll have to go grab some here and finish it up. But yeah. I don't know if I just got lucky with masking or if I'm really good at it, but it everything's been turning out really well. Like cutting and all that. And just looking good. So yeah, I'm really happy with it and I can't wait to paint it. Hello guys, Traxxas Master here and the body masking is done. So if you look here, the final design I went with. We have the paint that's going to curve here. It's going to stop here. And the top I ended up taking all the way back because I didn't like how it ended like that. So now the ends are sort of flared out like that. And I think it looks looks cool. So yeah, I'm ready to paint this. The windows are going to be tinted now, not black, just because I got a better deal on that. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be all decaled up. And the front, you see where that front masking, that's where the other color is going to go straight down. And I've pushed all the edges down and everything is... Ready to be taped, it looks just as I'd like it. And here we go. So when you're painting a Lexan body, 
You paint from the inside. So you start with the inside. And then you work your way through it. And you're going to want to paint your lightest layer to your darkest. And the darkest layer is going to be the winter tint. And the lightest layer will be this yellow. Which is the only color I'm telling you. So when you're painting, you want to take it. And you're just going to go light, just real light, just like that. And you're just going to go over, and you're going to do a few coats maybe, and then you're going to let it dry. And you do a coat about every five minutes maybe, and your first few just want to be real light with it. And then I'll let that dry and I'll come back and do another one in five minutes until you reach the desired color you like. And then when you get the color, peel off the masking, move on to your next layer. And that's it folks. I'll show you the body when it's done. Alright guys, are you ready? Body's been finished. Here it is. Check that out. That is sexy. This is not pure black. That's window tint. That's right. Absolutely beautiful. We've got RPM sticker, Proline, 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 Traxxas, Snappy RC, Proline, Proline, RPM, Proline, Valenian, front headlights, front grill. Looks awesome. Now, the last thing to do is drill the holes, and we'll see it on the car. So, to drill holes, you're going to assortment a drill bit, and you're just going to take them and just match them with your body mounts and just see which one's the right size. Drill some holes, and it should look good. So I'll be right back. Boom. The rustler's ready. It's ready to take on the competition of the Traxxas Maxter homemade RC track. And it's going to kill it. These awesome tires, this sexy body, you know that okay remote, <laughs> but it looks great, I really like it, can't see anything in there, and it just looks good on the car, it sits well, I need to get some probably black shock springs or something cool like that, that'll really be looking good, I'd love to dye the chassis black too, but that's for another day. So that's pretty much how you paint an RC body. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, have a good day. If you enjoy the content, please do subscribe. Thank you very much.